What's up, everybody? For the one attached, you know what it is, and I just want to say thank you very much for tuning into a brand new week at YouTube.com slash For the One Itachi, the For the One Itachi Pokey Vlog series that we got going on here. My favorite series by far. There is a female Nidoran nearby, and I will definitely go ahead and capture it when I can. But uh, today we're gonna start off with something new. I'm definitely gonna be heading over to the two gyms that are very close by to my house. Good walk away and hopefully we can take them over because we have got some very high level CP Pokemon now starting from last week and all of my adventures. We're going to start off, go ahead and give you guys a recap on what has been going on. Starting off with my character for the Winatachi, hashtag, hashtag Team Valor as you guys know. Uh, I did release my rap video, well it wasn't a video, it was rap music. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't checked it out. There are 900 Pokecoins, I just reached level 23. And I've got 102 different Pokemon out of 151, and 8 of them I cannot capture. 6 of them are legendary, no. There's the 3 legendary birds, there's Ditto, there's Mew and Mewtwo, that's 6. Then there's Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, and Farfetch. So there's 9 that I can't get. I can get Tauros because I live in NA. I have to go and adventure into other continents to go get the other Pokemon. Um... But yeah, we got a lot of uh, medals and achievements going on, so if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video, just go ahead and pause it. Uh, same thing with my Pokemon. There's two Pokemon nearby. I'm going to skip this Nidoran, maybe. Uh, we got items. We got Hyper Potions. We got tons. We got 588. I've upgraded my bag slots to 650 recently. Uh, let's go ahead and check out my Pokedex. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video, check out what's going on in Pokedex Squad. Uh, we have seen 103, but we've caught 102 different Pokemon. Uh, the one that we did not capture was a War Turtle. It was uh, Santa Monica when I found that War Turtle, and I was not able to capture that one. Uh, again, pause the video if you guys want to go ahead and uh, pause and check out what's going on with my Pokedex. But we got almost a, a good amount of Pokemon, more than most people. And last but not least, I'll go ahead and show you my top six at this point in time. Go ahead and change it into my CP squad, my combat power. Uh, we got an RK9 owning it up at 1692, my Vaporeon at 1326, Executor at 1312, Amasar at 1256, Electabuzz at 1192, and a Rhydon at 1160. Uh, we also got the rest of Imons. I'll go ahead and scroll through them as slow as possible. But if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, CP-wise, and what mons they are, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video. I got plenty of guides coming in and coming at you guys soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'll be showing you guys uh, my mons more in depth uh, when I get to that point in time as well. I like to keep at least one of every mon. Uh, for example, I'll have a Charmander and a Charmeleon. I will keep the highest CP Charmander just in case... I eventually catch one that is much stronger than the Charmeleon. I'll be able to eventually evolve the Charmander before I evolve the Charmeleon into a Charizard because I'd rather get the higher CP Mons than the others. But I'd like to sh at least show that I've actually received that Pokemon in a legit manner. So, especially when I have them in my videos, anyways. Uh, but yeah, we got two eggs that are currently hatching. I do not have any more incubators and I really do not want to purchase any right now. Uh, but I got my two 10k eggs in them. So they'll definitely be hatched within this video sometime this week. But I do not think they will be hatched today. But let's go ahead and head on over to the gyms. And I'll go ahead and give you guys an idea. You know what? Let's just go ahead and start off by capturing this random female Nidoran. But um, we're going to go... Oh, it's a 285. Okay, decent decent enough throw. I mean, it at least put it inside the Pokeball. Uh, that's definitely not going to work. All right, so... Oh, my gosh, it jumped. Really? Really? This is a female Nidoran. I didn't even want to capture this. Come on. Come on, son. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the gym. Hopefully, we can actually start taking over some gyms, win some battles, finally. Now that we got some pretty decent amount of CP Pokemon. It took three Pokeballs to get this Nidoran. Uh, we are going to get rid of it because I do already have a female Nidoran that is much higher and has a better moveset as well. So, moveset really doesn't matter because it evolves and changes moves anyways. But let's go ahead and head on over to the gyms. Uh, my favorite Pokestop of all times. And see you guys there. Alrighty, everybody. So a little bit of change of plans. I planned on just going across the street behind me. Now, sadly, there's a gate lock in it. It's Team Valor's gym. Two Pokemon. There's an Arcanine at 1421, and there is a Snorlax at 1528. So not the best looking gym of all times. But for the first time ever, these guys have an open gym right now. And I believe I'm going to be able to kind of put up a good, decent fight. But it is level 8, so not too sure how that's going to go. 
But they have an Arcanine I can take out, a Vaporeon, I'm fine, Golduck, I'm fine, Golem, I'm fine, Vaporeon, Arcanine, Needle Queen, and then we start getting into the last one, which is a Vaporeon. Uh, so they got one water, one fire, two water, one fire, three water, four water. So they got four different water types. Now I'm going to have to try to base my team around this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head on in, dive on in, and let's go ahead and see if we can take this gym over. Now this isn't the first time I've been at this gym, but it's the first time I've been here and it actually has a pretty damn high level squad because it's really hard to get in here to actually be able to do this gym. But uh, we're going to go ahead and attempt this one. Uh, gym's too far. I'm on, I'm on top of the gym. How far? Uh, where, where's the gym? <laughs> That's my question. I usually get it right there unless my GPS is failing me right now. Um, gotta go closer this way. Just gotta go closer this way. Yeah, I should be good here. Should be good here. Um, am I, I should be inside the gym. I, it, says, it still says I'm too far away. Alright, there's a wedding going on here. So, there we go. There we go. The light features are on. The light fixtures are on, I should say. Uh, we should be able to get this gym in handy dandy. There we go. We're back. We are back. Let's go ahead and choose our squad of six. Uh, Executor will be pretty decent, but um, what are we starting off with? It is, and it's definitely get on Vaporeon right away. Vaporeon squad. Um, there's a couple of, there's a lot of water types, so I'm going to have to throw in Electabuzz. Executor wouldn't be too bad. Executor can go in there as well. Amistar, I guess. I'm going to throw in Arcanine. My strongest one in fifth. I'll end off with my lowest one with his Rhydon. Should be able to take out the uh, the second Arcanine. So we're gonna have to actually switch you here. I have to switch you around my Arcanine and Executor because of the way this plans out. Hopefully it goes well. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's go ahead and check this one out though. This is my first like top-notch gym battle, and of course it's not working. Come on, load. There we go, Vaporeon. Oh, spam click, spam click. Go, Vaporeon. Come on, you gotta own it up, own it up, own it up, own it up. Come on, come on. Super effective, son. Super effective, son. Super effective, son. Dodge, 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 dodge. Come on, come on, come on. Dodge, 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 dodge. No, we can't use it yet. Come on, keep going. Keep go. There we go. There we go. Hydro pump. Dodge this. Dodge this. Come on. It's done. It's done. It's done. Next Pokemon. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Oh my gosh, no. Switch. Go Electabuzz. Alright, save my Vaporeon for a little bit. Super effective, Electabuzz, bringing in the electric attacks. What is his? What is his uh, super? What is his super? I gotta know what his super is. Gotta know what it, Oh, Thunderbolt. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Get another one in. That's not too bad. This is the Vaporeon. This is the low one, though, which isn't great right now. Keep going. Keep going. Keep spamming. Save your supers. Oh, no. We're not, not even gonna get him out. Not even gonna get him out. Can I get him out? Oh my gosh, mine fainted too. Alright, uh, my Vapor, I should be able to take this one out. Alright, victory. Whew. Gold duck, really? I'm gonna have to use this Vaporeon. I don't know what's going on with the map, guys, but uh, a little quick switch. Boom. There we go. Tactics. Tactics. His isn't very effective against me. What is his super? This is gonna be a crazy one. It's an executor. Oh, it's psychic, I think. Psychic, yeah. It's psychic. Oh, not bad. The, the, I wish it was grass, though. Some Something grass would have been great. Finish him off. Alright, cool. We might have to do a switcheroo here. Oh, no. It's... Alright, come on. Vaporeon, go. Save that executor for a little bit. Hopefully the uh, specials survive. I'm just gonna... <laughs> dodge. Nice! <laughs> What a dodge, alright. All right, look at this, look at this, look at this, flick of the wrist, flick of the Come on. Spam it. I'm using Hydro Pump. Come on, dude. Stop failing me here. Ah, damn it. Finally got it. Oh my gosh, really? I'm gonna start go. I hate this the switching process. I'm gonna start should be able to get this. Nice. Not too bad. I mean, this is gonna be a hard. Oh my gosh. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Vaporeon, come on. Why so many water types? That's what kind of instinct gym are you? So many water types here. Uh, 
executors done. What do we got? So oh, I gotta switch them out. Ah, oh, damn it! Switch them out one more. I'm gonna start go somehow, somehow, some way. You're gonna do this for me. Somehow, some way, you're gonna do this. What is your special? Double the special, bro. Double the special. What is it? What is your special? I need to know. Oh my gosh, dinner's ready. Just got that text. Dinner's ready. I blocked all text from it. Oh, it's rock slide. Oh no. Oh no, it's rock slide. Alright, alright. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Get one off, get one off, get one rock slide off. Come on, one rock slide. Ooh! Barely! Alright, get it in right, right away, right away, right away, right away. Come on, get one off, get one off. Oh, we didn't even get one off. Oh, right on, we're good. We should be. We should be good. Right on, I believe, knows Earthquake. This should be the Earthquake right on. Dodge, dodge. It's the Mega Horn right on. Oh, man. I got rid of my Earthquake right on. Uh, that's, that's fine. We got rid of this Arcanine. What is left? I got an Arcanine left, and he has a Vaporeon left. No! Oh, it's a Needle Queen. We're not even there yet. There's so much action. So much action. So much action. All right, you got a double power up coming up here. All right, one. Flamethrower. Two. Flamethrower. You got to dodge, bro. You got to dodge. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's got really it knows a ground type move. What kind of. You, you bossed it up with this Needle Queen, bro. You bossed it up. Oh, we got it all the way to the last one. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Oh, that was it. That wasn't. That wasn't a bad attempt. Six against eight Mons. I mean, we defeated seven Pokemon. We knocked down the Prestige by 3,500. We got 700 experience points out of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mons out of eight were destroyed right there. That isn't too bad. Now, if we would have got that last one, it would have been much better. But that wasn't a bad attempt. I mean, my mons did pretty decent. A lot of my mons, uh, my Rhydon, my Arcanine, um, they were a weak to, or, or my water types as well, Vaporeon. Uh, they were weak towards the water types, which kind of hurt us a little bit, especially being the Vaporeon being at the end. But uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. I mean, that wasn't a bad attempt at trying to lower, I'm not gonna take over this gym. There's a Geodude right next to me. I'm not gonna take over this gym, but I wanna at least put a dent into it. At least a dent. I dropped it from level 8 to level 7. So it starts off with a Vaporeon. Someone's having a bad day and someone just lost one of their mons. So, or one of their mons at a gym. But uh, we will definitely be back here tomorrow. I am going to go ahead and head home for gym dinner. I, I, need to, I need to actually take over a gym. But this weekend, or tomorrow for me, for you guys tuning in, uh, we will definitely be getting into some more gym action. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. Gym action, here we come. And you know what? Before we leave, let's just go ahead and uh, knock this Geodude out of the park, son. Get this Geodude out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I did not win the battle. It was 6v8. I did not win. But I am happy. I knew I wasn't going to get past the Vaporeon. But I'm happy I got to the Vaporeon. Because that's that was my goal. To get at least 7 out of the 8 down. Especially with my squad. I should, I definitely, I had that in mind to get there. Um, but yeah, I gotta go ahead and head on home for some dinner. Get some din- Oh my gosh, this Geodude's a damn baller over here. This Geodude's a damn baller, son. And, yeah, what do you guys think about that battle? I mean, I, I love it. If and, and also, I've noticed if you tag team with a partner, it does the actual damage of the tag team, so it'd be much better if I actually had a buddy with me right now, but... Hey everybody, we heading over to the park right now, about to get it in, get it on! Mainly for the Pokestops, and mainly to walk, and mainly to hatch some eggs, because I got some 10k eggs. But, have you guys been listening to the goddamn new jams, the new rap that I just threw out on the game? I spat bars, son. I spat so much toxic, you gonna need an antidote for this one. You gonna need an antidote for this one. God damn, son. Let's, 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 let's listen to this. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek if you haven't listened to this one yet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Up in my face, you're not with the creep. Woo! Give me space, I gotta concentrate. Damn! I most hate it when I take over the gym. But fella be loving it like, like McDonald's, bitch. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah this some mother shit. Our squads don't mix on Team Valor, bitch. Woo! The gym's so close, time to seal this shit. Here's a shift. Make sure they feel the drift. 
What's up everybody, Father Wayne Itachi, you know what it is. We just arrived at the park now. I have no clue what's going on here. The park is supposed to be closed and it is freaking empty, dude. There's a couple cars here, but I'm very positive they are worker cars because they're doing something here on the very front. So I decided to come and park in the back and we're just gonna walk around. I mean, they really can't do anything about me walking around in a public park. Yes, it is closed. They can just ask me to leave, but uh, I do have my car here. So, I mean, there's a big sign out front that says park closed, but I came down here to freaking do some Pokemon Go gameplay. So we're gonna go ahead and do so right now. We're about to head off over to this Pokestop. We're gonna go ahead and do my Pokestop travel right now. And we're gonna go ahead and grab every single Pokestop that is in this park. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some gyms. I wanna go ahead and do a nice little walk around the park. Uh, get these eggs hatched as quickly as possible. They are 10K eggs, so I do wanna go ahead and check them out. We are about 4.1, we are 4.1 and a 10. So hopefully we can get these eggs hatched while we are at this park. Again, I'm gonna make my whole loop travel. We're gonna get to every single Pokestop. I won't be vlogging those po Okay, so here's a big truck behind me. I won't be vlogging all those Pokestops. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and record the footage, play a nice little bit of music in the background, if you know what I mean. And then I'll see you guys on the other side in like, what, 10 seconds? See you there. Alright, so as you guys can see, there are two gyms in my area. They're both taken over by Valor. One actually has a missing Pokemon slot, which is the one we're about to head over onto right now. Um, about this gym location, it is actually a memorial. And that's pretty cool. You get to come here and memorial it up. Go ahead and click on it. We should be close enough by now. We are. And I'm not going to upgrade the prestige in this gym. It is actually way in the back of the park and usually no one ever comes here. I'm going to go ahead and we got an Arcanine at 1313 and a Dragonite at 2277. I'm going to go ahead and add a Pokemon. It is a gym level 3 with two Pokemon. Uh, since it already has a fire type, I'm not going to drop my Arcanine here. Um, and it has Dragonite, which is a dragon type. I'm going to go ahead and sleazeball this one and drop uh let's see i'm gonna drop my vaporeon here it is a very strong uh pokemon on my squad and it is my second strongest so i've just attached my vaporeon to this gym and i'm very pleased with that one but we're gonna get some fight in it don't you worry we're about to head on over to the other gym but first off We've got Arcanine at 1313, my Vaporeon at 1326, and the OP Dragonite holding it up on the squad here, son. So hopefully my Pokemon are cooking it in good over here. But we're going to go ahead and head on over to the other gym, which is across the ways. But I'm going to go ahead and from here, I'm going to show you what's in this gym. It is level 8, and this is a very easy gym to get to, especially if you're just driving, actually. Has some very weak Pokemon now. we got a Pinsir at 562, Hitmonchan at 572. Vaporeon, uh, Vape Nation at 772, 
right on at 933, a Flareon at 1097, our canine at 1269, our canine at 1738, and last but not least, a Dragonite at 1850. I'm going to try to boost the prestige on this squad. I don't think I can beat it. It is a level 8 gym, and I just got rid of my second strongest Pokemon, which was my Flareon, which could knock out uh, easily this uh, second highest one, which was the Arcanine. But um, I don't think I can beat all 8 with my 6 that I have left over, but I'm going to go ahead and attempt to boost up the prestige with you guys and hopefully drop in my Arcanine, which will come in handy on the... In between these two are canines here. It'll be the seventh strongest Mon, and it'll be an eighth and a ninth above me. So hopefully I can see if I can get this gym to level nine, and we're gonna go ahead and head on over there right now, and I will see you there. Right, so I'm pole leaning right now while uh, we get this battle on. Uh, it, I am basically here to try to boost its prestige up to uh, the gym level up to level nine by boosting the prestige, which is the experience score pretty much. I'm not gonna use my Amistar. I'm gonna go all out with my RK9, and let's go ahead and see if we can get this in. Hopefully we get to fight off against the pincer the whole time. Not too sure how this works. Ooh, we are. This should be really easy then. This should be really... Oh, it's super effective. Ooh, eat it bug type Pokemon. Eat it. I'm just going to spam. I'm just going to spam. I'm not even going to use my supers. Victory. What now? What ha I've never done this before. Wait, what? Battle 2? I wasn't looking for Battle 2. I didn't know there was a second battle. Oh, you Thunder Punch. I can't dodge because I'm using my I'm using my attack. Ooh, did I dodge it? Nope. I don't know how this works. I'm just gonna keep trying to kill as many Pokemon as possible, I guess. Do I heal up? No, I do not heal up. Why is it one Pokemon against 50? And now I'm weak against it. All right, I gotta dodge, I gotta dodge, I gotta dodge. I'm about to use this Water Pulse. I gotta use my Super, I guess, twice in a row. Two in a row. Two times in a row. Alright, use it again. My, my moves aren't very effective. God damn it. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Get one more off. Yeah! Got it. Alright, that's three down. Nothing to be except... God, another one that I'm weak against. Are you joking? Oh, I have no chance. So what happens? I just killed three. I lose. I already knew that. It was one against eight. How was, what was I supposed to do? So, experience plus 30. Pokemon defeated three. Jim is still level eight, and it's got like a about a good 50 million hours to go. Oh no, here we go. All right, let's try it again. My bad. Oh, dude, dude. 30,000 out of 40,000 experience points. Are you joking? Uh, what if I use my Arcanine's dead, bro? What if I use Kabutops? Kabutops ain't bad. It does know some water moves to get rid of the the baddies on the squad over here now that I know we have to face off against some other things. It knows water pulse. It should go oh no, I gotta get through this pincer though. Alright, it knows water pulse. Water moves aren't too bad against it. It's it, it's be, it's gotta be better than what the other one was what the other one is doing, whatever his other move is. Uh, let's just stack it up. Let's just stack. And then now we can use water pulses. Just keep stacking moves, because I'm gonna have to be ready. There's one victory. Uh, it's gonna be I'm gonna be ooh no this is fine one two I want to get through this quick two one more three why do folks don't do too much damage though bro oh no oh no dodge that bro that was close all right keep going it's his moves are super effective because I'm a goddamn half ground type all right come on come on give me something easy to catch Vaporeon next isn't it done I can't even get through this, there's no way. I'm using Water Pulse, but it's not gonna do anything because it's a Water-type Pokemon. I'm done, it's over. Peace out. Dude, we, we got two down with that one. Um, prestige, I mean, it, 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 this could, I mean, this could possibly work.
All right, everybody, about a good hour to an hour and a half later, I soloed this 40,000 experience points to get this gym to level nine so I can drop one of my squads, an R K nine. Sadly, I do not have any more hyper potions, potions, super potions, nothing. I wasted so much time doing this, but I put my mind to the test to see if I can actually stay here and do it. I tried the Razor Go chat to gather some more crew, but that app sucks complete balls. Sorry, Razor, but your app sucks because no one's using it. But I'm gonna try to keep I'm keeping my Arcane Nine alive now, and I've wait, I've lost my Vaporeon. Someone took over our gym. Oh my gosh, uh, Executor. I'll talk to you guys about that later. Executor, Amistar, Electabuzz, Rhydon, Kabutop, Skolbat, Pidgeot, Pinsir, Arbok, Machoke, Primate, all dead. We're going to try to attempt this with my next strongest, which is Seeking. We need a couple more wins left. Hopefully Seeking can get us very close, but I'm not 100% sure on how Seeking's going to go. Because we do have to get by this Pinsir with a... Oh, damn. My Seeking knows Ice-type moves? I don't even know what my seeking knows. I haven't even gone. I've never gone this far. I've never gone this far into my squad and lost this many of my squad members before. It knows Mega Horn, so this should kill it. Yes, nice. So that's a good chunk of experience points or prestige points for the gym here. Hopefully, we can get this done. Um, I would. I, you guys don't even know how much time I put into this. How many Pokemon have fainted, not died, fainted because of this? But uh, yeah, let's get one more Mega Horn off. Come on, we gotta get Hitmon. We gotta get Hitmonchan done though. We gotta kill Hitmonchan. This is gonna be a waste. Damn it! It's very close. So I did get a little bit of experience points from that, but I don't think it's fully completed yet. Got about 122 remaining. There's some goddamn Onyx over here, and we never see that many in our area. I could go with my Arcanine, but I don't know what happens if you if, if you can't put a fainted Pokemon in a gym, I'm pretty sure, so I don't want to waste my Arcanine. So what was after seeking? A Dodrio. That, that's not too bad. It's a fast attacking Pokemon. So hopefully we should be good with this. Um, but yeah, I put a lot of effort into taking over, the, well not taking over this gym, but boosting the control of this gym. I'm glad no one has come this far to uh, take over for Team Mystic or Instinct. So it would have been a one-on-one -on -one battle. But hopefully we can get this done. I mean, there's not that much. We got a Dodrio doing some work. So this Pinscher should be dead by now. And it is dead, so my Dodrio might be able to do this because I'm going to just go all out special right now. I'm pretty sure Nick's at the other gym as well, guys, in the front of the, in front of the park, so he's going to try to help me with that one. Uh, get the specials off. Mm, I hate when it bugs and it doesn't get the specials off. All right, Dodrio fainted. We got, come on, guys. Oh, you guys, oh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Dodrio put us over. 40,012. We got a level nine gym here. Oh my gosh, no way. No way, I did not know he was gonna be able to do it. Oh, come on, please. No instinct, no mystic. Let's drop in our canine. This gym is gonna be baller. No, this, this gym's gonna be surviving for days. Oh my gosh, a level nine gym. An hour to an hour and a half later. I finally got this 40,000 experience points by myself, lost so many Pokemon, so I'm going to go ahead and have to hit some Pokestops to get my, my potions back, but we got a crappy 562 pincer, but that's not too bad. A Hitmonchan at 572, a Vaporeon at 772, Rhydon at 933, Flareon at 1097, Arcanine at 1269, Arcanine at 1692, that is me right there, and we only got two more stronger, another Arcanine at 1738. And a Dragonite at 1850. And what I really love about this gym is we're utilizing all of the types, son. So that is very interesting. That is very cool. This gym is level 9. I put in a lot of work. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what happened earlier. Team Mystic over here. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Level 13 CP Ven Venonat. And then we got an Arbok, which I can take over. A Vaporeon. They're actually putting in work. And an Arcanine. I'm not going to bother because I'm kind of sick from doing the 40,000 uh, uh, XP spawn right there. I got all 40,000 experience by myself solo. So Mystic ended up taking up my other gym. Vaporeon kind of ruined me over there. And s someone decided to throw in a Venonat. But today is a great night. I am super happy about it. We just took over Central Park information sign at Central Park in Santa Clarita. Gym is now level 9. Hopefully this gym stays alive for a long time and I will keep you guys posted.
Oh my gosh, we are balling it up in here, son. Stay tuned for some Yo, more action. Yo, everybody, you guys Peace don't out. even know. So, all right, my two eggs just popped, right? Let's go back to my Pokemon. My two 10k eggs just popped. I got that Electabuzz, and I finally, finally got a Snorlax. And look how strong and big and fat and oh my gosh he is. So, my phone's at 5% battery, as you guys can tell. I didn't, I was just driving home, and I was trying to get as much distance as I can as I just came home from the park. And the, the damn eggs popped, and I couldn't record it. But I just got a Snorlax with 27 Snorlax candies. He knows Lick and Body Slam, so he's cooking good. I cannot believe I just got a Snorlax. I, this, this has been a long wait. And I hope you guys enjoy it because we're going to see a lot of combat with him because he's at 1728, son. I believe he is my new highest, and yes, he is my new highest. So I'm super stoked, and I cannot wait for some more. What's up, everybody? For the Winitachi, we back at the park again. We about to hit it up. I just decided to come and check over the gym. First of all, I want to go ahead and check out this Mystic Gym. The, if you guys remember, they took it over yesterday, but now they got an Executor, and that's it. So it is only a 1697 Executor. I could go ahead and take that over before I leave. But the gym that I reached level 9 with yesterday got demolished and went from 9 to 8 all the way down to 7. So the Hitmonchan, the Vaporeon, and the Pinsir are gone. Uh, we have a Rhydon at 9.33, a Slowbro at 9.70, a Flareon at 10.97, Arcanine at 12.69, an Arcanine at 16.92. What's up, everybody? That's your boy right there. We've got an Arcanine at 17.38. 8. Dragonite at 18.50. It is a level 7 gym, but I'm not too sure and not too positive on how long it will last for. Uh, looks like I am the highest level though, uh, trainer wise. I'm level 23. Oh, there's a 24 and a 23. Alright. But my Arcanine's up there. It's repping it up on the squad. Um, you know what's great? This Mystic Gym all the way over here. I might try to take it before we leave. And there is another Valor Squad Gym over here. Let's go ahead and check it out. It is still level 3. It's 1196, 13, and a 1411. Not the best of gyms. But as you guys do know, I'm about to go to work, so that's the only reason why I'm just showing you right now. Um, but as you guys do know, last night my eggs did hatch, and I've got a new squad of Snorlax at 1728. So hopefully we can get him in one of these gyms. Hi, what's up everybody? What's goody? Uh, the gyms that I was taking over last night. I'm going to give you a quick... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Alright, that gym is open. But my level 9 gym, just it, as I told you guys earlier, it got demolished into a level 7 gym. But we are still owning it up and taking it strong with my Arcanine. But this gym over here was just Team Valor. I mean, it was Mystic earlier when I got, showed you guys my recap from a day later of my other level 9 gym. But it was just Team Valor, and I believe team, there's another team over there taking it over. So I gotta go make sure I can drop my Snorlax in there before anyone else takes it. Not too sure. But let's go ahead and book it. Let's book it over there, guys. Come on. Come on. Gotta drop my Snorlax. We're gonna go balling out with Fat So over here. Gonna Fat So it up. Oh my gosh. I, I would love. Ooh, there's a goddamn victory bell and an Omanite pretty close by. That's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Alright, so I just booked it over here. As you guys can see over there where the Dragonite is, it is still my level 7 gym. Uh, that I have my Arcanine at, but someone just dropped a Gyarados here uh, on this gym. It is level 2 and it is missing a Pokemon slot, so of course, what do I do? I'm wrapping up Team Valor. We're going to drop that big bad boy over here. Got to switch it up to the CP though. But I really want to take control of this gym, so we're going to be dropping up the big bad guy of Snorlax. Now, look who's king of the gym, son. We got a Gyarados who's on point. It is now a level 3 gym, and we also have got a Snorlax. I can only drop one Pokemon per gym, so hopefully. Team Valor comes in and reps it up and backs up the gym because right now we got two gyms in the same park and I believe there's one more gym so let's go ahead and check it out. I do not got that much time though so that kind of sucks. Uh, I believe it's this gym right here where the executor's is at. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Nope, I got the Santa Clarita Youth still. 
Uh, let's go ahead and angle it and then click on that one over there in the back. Yep, we just got it. All right, so there is a, it's a level two gym, eradicate at 454 and an executor at 1404. Uh, there's not that much experience points to go. It is 2,000 out of 4,000, but I really do not have that much time. But I will be back later in the week in a couple, actually, probably maybe even tomorrow. You never know. Um, but I do got, Team Valor does have uh, three gyms in this park right now. Uh, one's level 7, one's level 3, and one's level 2. If you guys do see this video, come wrap it up at Central Park in Santa Clarita, Team Valor. You guys know where it's at. And, uh, yeah, I've got two, I've got control of two of the gyms myself. I got my OP Snorlax hitting it up over here, and I got my R-K9 over there. Um, I would love to drop a Pokemon over here if someone can go ahead and level that up for me really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and check it out one more time. Let's see if we can get it up to level 3 before I get over there. If I can, I will drop a Pokemon. But right now, it's still sitting at 2,000 out of 4,000, and it's the Butterfly of Central Park. So, I doubt we will be able to... Oh, Ponyta! Way to get this one going, son! On the way to the card. Oh, it's an 841 Ponyta. Wow, that is next level. I only want to use Pokeballs, though, because I got tons of these. And, yeah. Alright. Two-hand this boy. Two-hand this boy. Look at that throw. What? Come on. Come on. Look at that throw, though. The throw is so sweet. It's like, it's like... I don't even know, man. It's like a Sour Patch Kid, that throw. Oh! Told you, Pokeball. Hitting it up. Hitting it up. Ponyta. Getting destroyed over here, son. Getting destroyed over here, son. Pony Todd is an extra small, though. But uh, let's go ahead and organize this one really quickly. As you guys know, I love a very OCD about my Pokemon. Uh, see if I can switch CP. To, my bad, I meant to click number. CP to number. Check out the Pony Todd. Let's see if that was a new strong one. I believe it was 841, the one I just caught. And the other one that I have is 8 something as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Where the Pony Todd's at? Where the Pony Todd's at? Stay in the shade. 841 is the new bad boy by four, five levels. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep the extra small one for now. It is flame. Uh, it's okay. I'll take that for now because it evolves and it could change. So you never know. Take the highest CP when it's a uh, lower level mons. But I'm going to go ahead and check one last time the gym over here. If it's not leveled up, then I won't be putting anything in there. And it doesn't look like anyone's doing any work. So I do apologize. I wish I could have taken over all three. Team Valor does have all three, so that is good. Hey everybody, back at it again. More Pokemon Go today. Today we're in Sierra Madre, about to hit it up with a ton of Pokestops. Look at this big long street of Pokestops. We're about to get them done right now. And I'll catch you guys if we find any interesting Pokemon. And I'll catch you guys during some of the Pokestops as well, so peace out. Oh, we got two different Pokemon right next to each other. I did notice there's a couple gyms around here. There's a Valor and then of course a Mystic on the other side. We're about to get this quick Pokestop in here. Hotel Shirley. I need a ton of hyper potions from what happened the beating last night. There was a Pokemon nearby. It is a male Nidoran, so about to get that one in the back. Hopefully it's good CP. 248, not too bad, but it's not higher than the other one that I've got. So, good throw right off the bat. We're about to get this one in and done quickly. Hopefully it captures really quick. Hopefully there's no out-of-the-ball shenanigans going on here. About to cross the street, and we did get it right away, so no issues there. About to hit it up. Going to definitely transfer this thing because it is a poor Pokemon on my behalf. Do not need it. And we're about to make our way down this street with all these... Oh, there's another Mystic Gym down there as well. Ready? We got it right here. Pokestop after Pokestop. About to spin a these babies. I need some Hyper Potions though, bro. I need some Hyper Potions. It was a true beating yesterday. It was a brutal and truly nasty beating. Just getting great balls and pokeballs right now with a couple revives, which are really, really useless for me. I'm going to probably be deleting a few of them, but uh, I do want to see what's in this gym. I do got to check it out. Check out what's in this mystic gym down here. It is a, it's a level, two, level 2 gym. I mean, it should be very easy to take over. I do got my Snorlax back because I did lose the gym that I was at over there. I'm going to go ahead and find out. Oh, wait. Uh, nope. I thought I, had a, I thought I had a Hyper Potion, but no, it was a Raspberry. Someone over here is playing Pokemon Go, but there's a lot of restaurants, so they're probably just chill. Yep, I can see them from there. Uh, they just popped out a Mankey from their Lure Module. Getting in their Pokemon Go action. And you get this one in, in the bottle shop. But there we go, a potion. I'll take a potion on any time. Make sure I watch the streets before you walk. If you know you guys are starting to see those little notifications pop up when you log in, Make sure you're paying attention to when you're playing the game, son. 
look at all these, oh my gosh, all these Pokestops. This street is baller. Uh, come, I came here to get my hair cut, but uh, try, they're currently busy. So I might as well get this in while I'm waiting and get a ton of Pokestops in. So let's get to it. Next one is lit. The Sierra Madre Playhouse. There we go. We're getting super potions now, son. Alright, crossing the street. Look how poor this Nito friend is. It is a CP10. Haven't seen one of these ones in a while. There should be an insta catch with a Pokeball. Hopefully, my phone does not freeze. Well, this is, yeah, it should be an insta catch. It is only a CP10 Nidoran. Definitely going to be getting rid of this one for candies. I will be able to evolve one of my Nidorans into a Nidorinos pretty damn soon. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll get. So I'll go to the gym and back. Let's put it that way because I can't go that far. I'm just going to see Pokey Stops all day, every day. Alright, next Pokemon stop just lit up. We're about to get this one. It is the Sierra Madre Mount, whatever it is. Oh no, my phone's on fire. My phone's on fire, son. I can't see anything. My phone's on fire. Not that many Pokemon of importance in this area. It's basically a bunch of Nidorans that I've been finding. Not too much of other stuff. Uh, hopefully we get a... Nope, we did not get another potion. I need potions. I need potions. There's another Nidoran here though, but we're gonna go ahead and grab this one ASAP really quickly here. Another CP10 Nidoran. I mean, this place is great for Pokestops, but it's really bad when it comes to the Pokemon. You know what I mean? There's really nothing here. And now I find out why there's a gym and a bunch of Pokestops here. It's because this little park area over here that you guys can see. A little nice little park area. There's definitely always uh, Pokestops and gyms where the parks are at. I'm gonna go ahead and no, I do not want to power up this guy. I want to get rid of him because he is definitely not suitable for the squad. Uh, I can't take it back. I already know I can't take it back. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And there's a potion, but it's not a good one. And we'll just go ahead and grab those two and then head on back. So let's go ahead and grab them. And hopefully we get to hatch some eggs soon. We got some eggs that are about to pop. So that's also good. We still got that level seven gym at Central Park. Hopefully it's still level seven. Uh, we got a couple eggs that are about to hatch. One's at 4.7, the rest are at 4.3, and the rest are bugged. I don't know why they're at 0.2 still. All right, so we got this. So we're gonna go ahead and move on back. Ooh, that was that was a nice haul right there. I'm not gonna get the Pokestops over there. Yes, I know it sucks that I'm just leaving them. But we're gonna go ahead and head on back because it is time. I just got a text message. I'm uh, gonna get that hair done, son. And if I get any Pokestops or any rare Pokemon on the way, other than that, if you guys do live by Sierra Madre, go ahead and check out this Old Town Sierra Madre. It has plenty of Pokestops for you guys, so make sure you check that out. But again, ooh, here we go. Here we go. That, that was perfect timing. Hopefully my phone don't turn off, but that was perfect timing, son. Let's get in the shade right here. What do we got? Uh, <sighs> Dojo, I believe that was a 5K egg right there. 468, so I'm going to go ahead and check that one out when I get there. But it was a 468 dojo. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and head on back. And again, downtown Sierra Madre, on Sierra Madre uh, streets, just pretty much next to Pasadena. Go ahead and check this out. Bunch of Pokestops here. Uh, again, Pokemon aren't too great. Cubones, Nidorans, Diglets, nothing different from what I get at my house. So... Uh, nothing too great here that I found, but you never know. Rare spawn might rare, and it might spawn, and it might rare spawn it up. So let's go ahead and get over and get my hair done, and I'll see you guys on the other side of new hairstyle.
All right, so starting from this one, one, two, three, four, five, six of the Pokestops did reset. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we grab these. And we're going to go ahead and walk on the other side of the street. My bad, just missed it. I mean, you've got to be aware of your surroundings, son. got to be aware of them surroundings. I'm sick of these revives, though, bro. I'm sick of the revives. i got to get rid of these revives. Hopefully, we can get rid of them soon. I need I need some damn hyper potions. So i got a lot of Pokemon that need to be revived, man. Done with the max revives because none of my Pokemon are actually fainting or dying. A lot of them are just losing their health because they've been guarding them gyms, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we got a couple Pokestops to go and we're gonna be heading back in. We got one, two, three, four, five Pokestops. I'm gonna make sure I grab them on the way, so see you guys there. What's up everybody? All right, so I know this ain't Pokemon Go related, but it is part of the video, to be honest. Uh, down in the description box, I do monthly giveaways. And I do have a monthly giveaway down in the description box right now for the month of August. Last uh, month's winners have already been contacted, got their prizes. Um, but first off, I wanna go ahead and let you guys know I do have unboxing videos, and I just picked up, it is August 1st, the Mythical Pokemon Collections of uh, Arceus, and I will be unboxing this one um, very soon onto the channel, but, what was really cool and really nice about this GameStop, they're starting to see me all the time, so they're helping me as much as possible. I just picked up, I don't know how many it is, but he told me, it is August 1st, and this is when GameStop gets all of their cards in. He gave me every single one that he had left. Uh, he, knew, he knows that I run a YouTube channel now, and they're going to hook me up. I got a big stack of Arceus mythical Pokemon cards. So I'm gonna be doing a major giveaway this month with the Arceus set as well as a couple of previous ones as well from the last one I believe was Darkrai and I have a couple more of those to give away as well. So go ahead and check in the description box down below. But we've got that mythical Pokemon Arceus. Level 100, of course. It's got the ability of multi-type, moves, judgment, recover, hyper beam, parish song. Only four. If you have XY or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you will be able to get this loot card code at GameStop until August 24th. But if you do not have the opportunity to do so, go ahead and spin the wheel, man. Go ahead and put it down in the description box down below, the giveaway link, and I will be able to give you guys one of these, and these ones expire on November 30th. So you have a long time to be able to make sure you get this in your game, and do not worry. I Usually if, you, if you're subscribed, like the videos, all that stuff, if you're an active follower, an active user, an active subscriber, you will probably win something one day. And I'm going to actually go ahead and count how many he gave me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He gave me ten cards, and I just freaking dropped one, son. He gave me ten of the cards that he had left, and I just want to say thank you, GameStop, for helping me out and hooking me up. Go ahead and check it out at GameStop.com, and thank you very much for tuning in. So let's continue with the video. What's up everybody, Father Winitachi here, and we are back at it again. We are closing off this Poke Vlog with a couple of cool things. Yesterday I was out and about with my buddies, and we were playing Pokemon Go, but I decided not to record because we absolutely really did not find anything great. Uh, the fact of the matter is we found a lot of trash, but that trash is about to get turned into a bunch of experience points, if you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and show you guys my recent tab. As you guys can see, we caught Venonat, Pidgeys, we got an Eevee. Eevee was, Eevee was like probably the best catch of the day. We, oh no, we did get a Parasect at 945. We got Abras, we've got Parases, we got one Meowth, we got 20 million Pidgeys, Ekans, Growlithes, and that was pretty much it. That was our catch for the day. And we caught a lot, but we didn't get anything great. We did find an Alakazam, but goddamn Pokevision ain't working anymore. So I couldn't get it. I, I couldn't find it. I, I mean, it literally, we couldn't find it. We were getting close to it, and then out of nowhere it just disappeared, and then it come back. I don't know what was going on. We felt ashamed to not get it. And we hatched some eggs yesterday, but we didn't really get anything out of that either. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to number, and we're going to do a lot of uh, transferring and... Yeah, we're going to do a lot of transferring and probably some evolving. I uh, will definitely throw on a lucky egg because we've got a lot of evolving to do. So first off, let's go ahead and do so. No, wait. Let's do the... Yeah, let's go ahead and do the evolving first. And then we're going to go ahead and transfer a lot of the Pokemon. So this is a method when it comes to jacking up your experience points, if you know what I mean. Do I have a lucky egg though, first of all? Let's go ahead and check that out. 
I believe I do not have a lucky egg. I can't buy a lucky egg! No! Come on! I can't buy a lucky egg! I have no points. Well, I got no pokey coins and I can't afford any, so... We're gonna have to do this our way. And that is, sadly, take h half of our experience points away. I'm still doing it. I mean, I want to do it. I've been dying to do this. I'm going to go through every single Pokemon. Why am I clicking on Charmeleon? I just clicked on Charmander. Can't evolve him. Uh, Squirtle. I mean, I'm pretty close. Yeah, 19 out of 25. Not too bad. Caterpie. Yes, I can evolve it. But I'm going to wait until I get another Caterpie just to say that I have the Caterpies. Uh, this Metal Pod would eventually be trashed into the trash. Same thing with the Weedle and the Kakuna uh, combo here. Uh, once I get another Weedle, I'll go ahead and evolve it. But for now, those are going to stay. We do got tons of Pidgeys, so I'm going to go ahead and evolve all of these bad boys. Uh, I got, how much candy do we got? So we got 143 candy and it requires 12. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. Okay, so I got 14 Pidgeys. I did not click on the side page. We're going to evolve it from top to bottom. So let's go ahead and grab tons of experience points. Tons of experience points! This is why we love Pidgey, isn't it? So the only reason why I was super stoked to catch that many Pidgeys yesterday. Got them all at the mall. There was three uh, lures. If you guys have checked out my previous vlogs, you guys will know exactly where we picked these up. They just spawn consistently. It was, it's not even funny how easy they spawn here. Uh, what is the CP? The goddamn... Oh, seven... Oh, damn! 723! I didn't even notice how high the Pidgey was. Oh, wow. I will take that. 723 Pidgeotto. That might be stronger than my Pidgeot soon if I can evolve that. I might save some candies. I might save some can. Oh my gosh, evolution so goddamn long. Well, we're getting experience points, guys. You're getting experience points. And while this is going on, this is probably the best time to go ahead and talk about it. 654. So it's just going to get less and less. Let me go ahead and check that out. 723. We got a 1032. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two trash Pidgeotos really quick. Because um, I, I no longer... I only need one. I mean, I no longer need them anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just keep doing the Pidgey thing, I guess. We need... Ex I'd rather the experience points. I'm very close to level 24, so I would like to get this experience points in. But again, what, like I said, while I'm evolving a bunch of trash, it's good to go ahead and talk about this. So... For those of you that uh, actually are f huge fans of the Pokemon franchise, you followed the anime, you followed the trading card game, you followed everything. And if you have, uh, let me know about this because I believe I am correct when I say this. I th it was the one... Okay, so when was Chimchar? Uh, because I remember the, the rival getting Chimchar. It went Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, then it went Chikorita, Totodile... Cyndaquil, then it went, what was it, ne what was next, that's the question. Well, whatever Piplup, Turtwig, and Chimchar were, that generation, they had a, Ash had a rival, and he wore a lot of yellow, and he had the Chimchar, and he was really hectic on capturing the strongest Pokemon, exactly how it is in Pokemon Go. We want the strongest Pokemon, we don't want no trash, but the actual anime showcases to well, you can deal with whatever you get as long as you believe in your Pokemon and your Pokemon will be strong oh my gosh god damn it I'm doing the wrong things that's what I've been doing all right I'm not, I'm not even focusing all right I got enough pitches anyways we're still good but yeah during that uh, series I noticed so Ash would take any tr goddamn trash and he would make it into whatever he can this guy was just like Pokemon Go we don't want the goddamn trash. We gonna get rid of it. And I feel kind of bad sometimes doing that. I don't understand. I mean, I do understand why. I mean, it's just mentally, as humans, we, that's just how we are. We're going to take the strongest things and say F you to the trash. We don't want the trash, man. So, I just felt like talking about that while we were evolving. Also, in the description box down below, there is a giveaway. This month, it is the month of August, I believe. Uh, when I release this, it must be. There's no way this can last longer than August. 
Uh, it is the month of August, so I do have a giveaway down in the description box down below, so go ahead and check that out. We are giving away seven uh, Pokemon trading card game online loot card codes down in the description box down below. And we will be doing three Darkrai loot card codes as well for Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, as well as uh, Pokemon X and Y. So make sure if you haven't gotten your mythical Darkrai Pokemon, you do have until August 31st to go ahead and get it. And that's when this giveaway does end. So, during that day, I will give you guys the loot card code so you can go ahead and insert that Pokemon into your game. Alright, I believe this is the last Pidgey we're going to evolve because uh, I would like to evolve that Pidgeotto into a super cool Pidgeot. I believe it will be a strong Pidgeot. We will find out. And I'm also going to turn down my brightness settings. I don't know why I had it so high. I can feel my phone turning super hot right now. Super hot. Alright, so Pidgeotto it requires 50 candies. Yes, so I don't need that anymore. Um, well, let's get rid of the trash Pidgeottos. Might be able to get enough candies to evolve one more Pidgey. I'm not too sure, but I'm very positive I will be able to. And I'm going to keep at least two Pidgeottos because I'm going to be evolving one into a Pidgeot. I do need to check out the Pidgeot's uh, XP bar, so it's good, say 80-ish percent, while this Pidgeotto is almost completed, so that is very cool. I'm going to go ahead and save the 662. I mean, this is the strongest Pidgeotto I'm ever going to get, probably. I don't know how I got that strong of a Pidgey, to be honest, but it was very cool capture. And let's go ahead and do a little quick transfers on these Pidgeottos. I'm going to keep the 723 for sure, that's the one I'm going to evolve. I do have enough candies to evolve another Pidgey for experience points matters. And I'm going to try to see if I can uh, power up this Pidgeotto. Oh no, uh, no, I want to keep this one. I'm sorry about that, guys. I want to keep that one. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of my trash Pidgeys, even though they're all trash now. But I mean, I'm not going to evolve one. I'm actually going to keep the candies for now. Be, I'll definitely be catching more Pidgeys, so I'll be able to do this experience grind again. And we do have plenty of more Pokemon, so we're not just focusing, focusing on Pidgeys today. Um, transfer. And I'm also going to transfer this Pidgeot, because I no longer want it. Sadly, but that's just how I roll in this game. And I'm going to go ahead and try to power up this Pidgeot as much as possible until it's maxed out. Uh, 738... And I don't believe... Oh, I can keep powering them up, I guess. It, it has to be max. There's no way it can go anymore. Oh, God. Fuck you, bitch. Plus one? What is this shit? No. Fuck no. I'm done with that. That was a fucking waste of Stardust. God damn. Alright. Well, we're just about to get a goddamn Uber Pro Pidgeot, son. God, I didn't know it would waste Stardust. I mean, I didn't know it would waste it like that. Just give me a plus one. A plus one. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to this Pidgeot, dude. Oh my gosh, this CP's gonna be cray. This CP's gonna be cray. Oh my gosh. Oh! 1322, son! Wing it on, and it was Hurricane! Hurricane Katrina's back! Okay, my bad, I didn't mean to say that, but okay. We've got rats, we've got rats. Both are 326. Um, I will get rid of you. And I will just keep the other rat for now. Spiro, how are you doing? Um, I got enough candies, definitely enough candies to evolve you, but I don't have any more Spiros. Ekans, how are we doing here, my man? Uh, this Ekans ain't too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and actually keep this one, but remove all of the others. And I'm gonna hold off on the Ekans evolution, just like I am with the, um... Well, the Caterpie and the Weedle, I'm holding off on their evolution because I want to get another Caterpie and Weedle before I evolve them, just to say that I have a Caterpie and a Weedle. And I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that. Same thing with the Spiro and the Rattata. I want to go ahead and get another uh, Spiro and Rattata before I go ahead and evolve them. But with the Ekans, the fact of the matter is I know it's not going to be stronger than my Arbok, so I'm going to go ahead and hold off on this one. It shouldn't be stronger, but this Arbok's pretty damn legit. Or it should be, in my eyes. 
Yeah, this art box is pretty legit, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Pikachu, I've only caught two of these bad boys, so... I don't know. I, I guess I've caught more. I, I, there's, there's just no way, though. But we got a sand shrew here. Uh, how much candy do we got with this? 40 out of 50, so we have no chance. I'm going to get rid of this sand shrew. Keep getting these candies in. Basically organizing my Pokemon, guys. This is going to be a long-ass time part of this video. As you guys know, I do have tons of Pokemon, so... We definitely owning it up right now. And I'm actually going to be getting rid of all these candies because this neat arena is actually really good. And I do not believe I'm going to get a Nidoran that's even remotely close to it. In fact, this Nidoran that I do have that is female is roughly 90% full. This neat arena is roughly... A, oh, shit. The Nidoran might be better. Oh, goddamn. Nidoran is going to be better than the neat arena somehow. I thought this neat arena was legit. My Nidoran queen absolutely sucks, as you guys can tell. So I'm going to be eventually getting rid of that. Uh, the Nita Ren male, though, we're at 27. And uh, my Nita Reno, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that either. I do got a Clefairy, but I'm going to hold off until I get another Clefairy before I evolve. Uh, we got a Vulpix, but I do not have enough candy. Uh, it's very hard to find Vulpix. I've only actually got one through an egg. I do have a Jigglypuff and I don't have enough candies to evolve it. But I'm going to go ahead and wait. And same thing with the Zubat. I have plenty of candies, but I'm going to go ahead and wait until I get another one. Another one. Alright, but we got Golbat here, and Golbat is actually stronger than this Zubat, so that is even pointless to evolve. We got an Oddish, and hopefully we have enough candies to evolve it. I'm going to go ahead and evolve this extra small Oddish, actually no. Yeah, might as well. I'm going to go ahead and evolve this extra small Oddish into a Gloom. Uh, we already have another Oddish on the squad, and I don't I don't think I've gotten a Gloom ever, so this is going to be my first Gloom. going to be added to the Pokédex. Right now, my goal in this game is to complete the Pokédex as much as possible, not to get the strongest Pokémon. Of course, that is also in the back of my mind as well, so I'm never going to lose sight of getting strong Pokémon. But my whole goal is to complete this Pokédex. As you guys can see, Gloom has just been registered to the Pokédex, so that is a very good start into completing this Pokédex. It's a 944 Gloom, so I can only imagine what the, uh, the Vileplume is actually going to be. Uh, we got a Paris, and we did catch a lot of these Parises. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check it out, though. Where's it at on its CP chart? It's not too bad, but we have nowhere near enough candies. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the trash. Get rid of the trash! I feel so bad calling it trash, but it, it, they are absolutely trash. i got to adjust my camera here. But yeah, guys, again, back into the description box. I do have a giveaway. So go ahead and check that out. I do have social media pages. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook. So go ahead and follow me on there. It's where you get your updates, where you get anything uh, for the Winatachi related. And if you guys want to go ahead and chat with me, just go ahead and post in the comment section down below. Or go ahead and post on social media. It's a great and easy way to chat with me. I'm going to go ahead and check out these Venonats. Uh, we do have enough to evolve. So I might have a better Venomoth now. Let's go ahead and check it out on the remaining two on the 545 Venonat. The 545 Venonat is actually probably going to be, oh, we got a Pokemon that's nearby. But I want to go ahead and check out the CP chart on this Venomoth. I believe the Venonat is much higher. Uh, not too much, and it is extra small, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wait then. Wait until I get another Venomoth. Venonat, but it's stronger. Could go ahead and power up that one, but I just do not want to do that right now. Um, we got Diglets, and I have a 573 Doug Trio. Um, we do definitely do not have enough candy, so I'm just going to go ahead and trash this Diglet right here. And eventually we will be able to do this again, of course, but not every single episode we do this. It's very rare that we actually get to do this. I went ham yesterday catching Pokemon. Uh, we do got a Persian and a Meowth that is able to evolve, so let's go ahead and check this out. Roughly about 80% and rough... Oh, god damn, shit, son. Shit, son. Shit, son. Let's go ahead and do it then. Let's go ahead and do it then. And let's get rid of this guy here. And let's go ahead and get this Meowth evolved into a OP Persian. It is extra small. Hopefully it gets rid of that trait and gets an extra large trait. Extra large trait, for those of you that don't know, go ahead and check it out. In my beginner's guide at Pokemon uh, Go's playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, basically, it's, it's a HP-based thing. The fatter and uglier it is, the more HP it's got. Uh, 1,005, so it was much more powerful, but it did keep the extra small, which did suck. Go ahead and check out my Psyduck. I did, oh, I do not want that, though. My Golducks is pretty legit, though, I believe. 
I evolved it. Oh, no. It, I've, I've been leveling up, so it did go. Oh, I got a bunch of Haramis. For those of you that don't know that joke, uh, sorry. I can't really tell you why about it, but you guys might know about the Harami joke with the Mankeys. Goddamn funny stuff. Funny stuff. We're going to be able to evolve one of these Mankeys into a primate. And I believe it's that big boss over 518 Mankey that's going to be evolved. 514, sorry about that. I was far away. I was just barely out of range on that one, seeing that one and witnessing it. So let's go ahead and check them out. And then while we're at it, this primate is at roughly about 80% as well, while this Mankey is pretty damn legit. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this primate and get a stronger one from this other Mankey. But we're going to go ahead and remove this last Mankey as well. Transfer. I like to keep one of each Pokemon, guys. I do. I'm Dutch. Just, I'm OCD like that. One of every Pokemon, no matter the evolution type. And if I don't, if I have enough candies to evolve one, and I don't have an, an extra, to make sure I say I have it. Even if the Pokedex says I've gotten it before, I don't care. I want to make sure I've got it. Uh, this uh, uh, Primate is going to be pretty damn strong CP wise, even though it's not a great Pokemon, but it should be decent. Uh, what do we got here? It's a low, not too bad, not too bad at all, and I could power it up. Now, we do get a really good uh, Growlithe here, guys. The Growlithe is, like, super strong, but we do not have enough candies, but we are going to get rid of all of the candies that we possibly can from these other Growlithe. These other Growlithe are actually pretty great as well, and you guys might even want them. Sadly, we cannot trade yet, but I am not a huge fan of trading as of yet because I would like to get... A strong enough team before trading goes live. I do not want to be forced into having to trade with other people or people selling their Pokemon. Poliwhirl. I don't know why I clicked it because I can't even involve my Poliwag. And we got tons of Abras, so let's go ahead and check this out. I do not have a Kadabra yet either, but I did find a goddamn Alakazam yesterday. Go ahead and transfer as many of these as we can. So we do have 20. I would have enough, but sadly I do not right now. Um, let's go ahead and just transfer all of them until we have the 296 one remaining. I can't believe we found that Alakazam yesterday and we were not able to capture it. And the reason why we weren't able to capture it, we weren't able to find it. And I don't know why we weren't able to find it. We walked everywhere in the low area that it was in. Got a Machop though, and it is pretty decent. And I could evolve it, but I do not have an extra Machop. Like I said, I would like the extra Pokemon to be there. Um, Bellsprout, you can chill. Tentacle, you can chill. I do not have enough to involve you anyways. My Geodude, I don't think I have enough candies. Um, Ponyta, I should get close. I'm getting close there. Uh, we did get you a little, a couple slow pokes yesterday, so that was very cool. Go ahead and remove this one while we're at it, though. Because we do not, we're definitely never going to use it for any purposes. Uh, Slowbro is okay, but it's really poor. Uh, Magnemite, 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 29 out of 50, Dojos, we got a couple of these yesterday, and we're not able to evolve one, so let's just go ahead and trash the trasher, trash the trasher here, guys, trash the trasher, seal, I believe we don't, no, there's no way, there's no way, we've only caught one, it was at the beach, no way with the Onyx either, I'm surprised, yeah, there's no way with the Onyx, 31, no way with the Shardar, Haunter, I really want a Ghastly again, um, Drowsy, 22 out of 50, I don't know why I just clicked on the Hypno, I'm not able to do much with that, uh, Krabby here, it's a really bad Krabby, I just wanted to check the candy, same thing with the Voltorb, Voltorb not too bad compared to the Electrode, but the Electrode sucks, my Executor is really good, uh, for his level, or for my level, uh, Cubone, we got a Cubone here, but we do not have enough candies to do anything. Hitmonlee's just chilling and killing here. Hitmonchan just chilling and killing here. I've, both, I've gotten one of each. We got a coughing here. Uh, three out of 50. I've only gotten one coughing. Uh, we got a 601 Rhyhorn. Only 35 candies, though. My Rhydon's not too bad, but uh, that Rhyhorn could be a little bit more powerful than the Rhydon. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Tang. Oh, Changler doesn't even evolve, does it? No, it doesn't. I know it evolves later, but not right now. I do need another horsey. The Cedra is not too bad, but I need another horsey. I evolved my horsey into a Cedra, but that was back when I really needed it. Uh, my Goldeen is going to be trashed out. I uh, don't believe we're going to be evolving too much more here. We've got a Staryu. The Seeking is just pointless. The Staryu is pretty damn close, though. We've got a Scyther, but cannot evolve it into a Caesar in this game. Same thing with the Jinx. Jinx has no evolutions, I don't think, anyways, in Pokemon. 
Electabuzz. We got Elk Kid, but that's in second gen. 115 candies on that Electabuzz, son. There's so many of those in, um, uh, what's it called? Santa Monica Pier. And in a pincer, I got 227 candies. There were so many in uh, Simi Valley in California. There's a lot of them. This Magic Carp, though, pretty powerful. And it's a 139 out of 400 candies, though. We do have an Eevee that I would like to evolve. So we're going to go ahead and do a spin the wheel on that one. Because I've already used the, uh, the Sparky, Pyro, and... I fucked up on this Eevee transferring. Um... Sparky, Pyro, and the Rainer glitch. I've already wasted um, my moves on that. Uh, so we got a good Vaporeon, and we got a really bad Jolteon and a Flareon. I'm going to go ahead and evolve that Eevee in a minute. Uh, we got a 37 out of 50 Almond Knights, and this Almond Star is pretty damn legit, so that's good. We got a Kabuto at 502. Uh, we don't got enough candies, but this Kabutops ain't too bad. Uh, we got an Aerodactyl, which is my shittiest Pokemon, sadly. Uh, Aerodactyl is a really cool Pokemon. We got a Snorlax. I did power it up yesterday to 1900 flat. And we've only caught one Dratini. Oh no, two Dratinis at this time. But yeah, we're going to finish this off with the Eevees. Let's go ahead and check out my eggs. Got a bunch of crappy eggs right now. And again, well, the problem with the eggs, just like I can't get with the Lucky Egg, um, I don't have enough coins to buy incubators. So I'm starting to struggle on that as well. Um, with the Eevees, I'm going to evolve the 529. I believe it is pretty decent. Um, I can go ahead and power it up a little bit. And go ahead and power it up as much as possible, to be honest. I would like a... Oh, I'm going to see how much I can power this one up before we evolve it. I believe I got two more power-ups. Yeah, two more power-ups. It's an XL, which is even amazing. And we're going to do one more power-up. And this should be a decent enough... Uh, Flareon or Jolteon. I do not want a Vaporeon. My Vaporeon is pretty decent already. I would like to get rid of my Flareon and Jolteon. In fact, I know Flareon is the worst of the three, but I would like a Flareon. Uh, but when it comes to Vaporeon, it is the best of the three. It's got fast attack, and it is very swift on the offensive, and it does a lot of damage as well. Jolteon in the games, though, in the consoles, is actually much better. What the fuck just happened? Everything just switched. Why? Why did everything just switch? Did I lose something? I shouldn't have lost anything. Wait, why did everything just switch? I have 114 Pokemon. Nothing should be double either anymore. Everything should be singles. It's 114 different Pokemon, but I am going, I had one double, which is the Eevee, so it's actually 113 different Pokemon. And I will be getting rid of one of them. So, yeah, I have 113 different Pokemon in my Pokédex. So I'm almost there completing the Pokédex. And I know, again, I know this is a very long part of the video, but we don't do this too often, so we're definitely doing it now. So let's go ahead and finish it off with this evolution of an Eevee. It is a very strong Eevee. We've got 25 out of 25 candies. It's an XL. Huge fan of fire types, even though Flareon's really bad. I'm a huge fan of Flareon, so I would love... Jolteon, I'll take it, because as long as it's not a Vaporeon... I'll take the Jolteon, I'll be getting rid of my other one, and this should be a strong one. I hope, I hope. Not bad, I mean, it's pretty close, pretty close, I'm going to get rid of the other one. But pretty close to my Vaporeon, that's pretty decent. Um, it, this one is an extra small Jolteon that I'm getting rid of. Did the other Jolteon keep the XL? Oh, fuck you, it went to extra small. God damn it, that sucks. Alright, well... We've got our Pokemon organized, and we've got 113 different Pokemon in the Pokédex. As you guys can see, everything is singled out, so it's 113 different Pokemon into the Pokédex. And we've got currently 8 eggs, but I can only incubate 6 of them. We're going to go ahead and switch this up to the CP, see what's my strongest right now. Of course, Snorlax. He did get kicked out of a gym. Uh, Arcanine at 1692, Vaporeon at 1326, Pidgeot at 1322. That's the brand new one to the squad, isn't it? That's a brand new Pidgeot to the squad. Goddamn, Executor at 13, 12. I'm going to start 12, 56. That's my top six. And then that Jolteon we just evolved and went up there as well. With Electabuzz, Rhydon, Kabutops, Golbat, and Gold Duck filling up my first page of the screen. Oh, way to end this vlog out. We just got an Eevee, son. Go ahead and do a little hand switcheroo here. Let's go ahead and, oh my, you know, no.
This is easy. Oh, yes, thank you. Should be an easy one. I mean, it's not that great CP-wise, but I just want to say, for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, I know this is a very long part of the vlog to end off, but we don't do it too much. And actually, it's been eight episodes, and this is probably the first time we've actually really done this for a good, like, 20 minutes. It might even be more. I don't even really know. But again, oh, fuck you, bitch. Come on, Evie! Why you always say... Please, please tell me why you always hate. God, I'm going to get rid of it too. Because I just said that. Because I just said that. Because I just said that. No. Because I just. Oh, okay. Got an egg hatching. Because I just said I was going to get rid of that Eevee. It's like, fuck you. No, you're not getting rid of me. Caterpie. Oh, we got an evolution. We've got an evolution. Ah, that was a great egg. That was a great egg. Oh my gosh. Oh, the vlog ain't ending. The vlog ain't ending, everybody. All right, well, we didn't get the goddamn Eevee, so let's go ahead and go to the number. All right, 235. Was that the one we just got? Nah. Well, we got 40 candies, so um, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping both, and we're getting rid of this Metapod. Metapod sucks. Complete D. Metapod sucks D! Wait, is it really that close? That Metapod's not that bad, then. It's, it's, I mean, the Metapod's not that bad. I'm going to hold off on that, guys. The Met, I mean, I don't know. Fuck it. It's only 12 candy. I can find more Caterpies. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, because I want to see one more evolution. Ah, uh, here we go. We're going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Imagine, imagine that if I go ahead and get rid of it. What do you reckon? I reckon a 300 Metapod based off of what that other one was. This is going to be a badass better for you. I'll tell you that when I can evolve it. I just got to get those uh, Caterpie candies ASAP. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? It's got to be 300. The fuck? No, that is bull. So, so Caterpie to Metapod, it doesn't really gain anything. That is cool. Now I know. Now I know, son. Oh, I only have 112 Pokemon? Wait, what, what did I What did I lose? I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through this before we end the vlog. Cause I want to know what I lost. There's no way. Oh, wait. No, no. It is right. It is right. Okay, let me see. Let me see, though. Because I just got rid of a Jolteon. Okay, I get it. It makes sense. I'm just making sure, though. I got to scroll through. You guys can, this is a great time for you guys to pause the videos if you guys want. Check out my Pokemans. Check out my Pokemans. Alright, cool. Alright, go to Combat Power because that's just the way I roll. Eggs, uh, anything close to hatching? Nah, not really. Um, some cool stuff pretty close by. Um, did we get any, we're not even close to level 24. God damn it, 24, why do you have to be so far away? I could, I will be customizing my character next next vlog, guys. So I know you guys have been asking me for the dude doing that. If you guys want, you guys want me to customize, so I will customize my character again. I don't know why you guys want me to recustomize my character. I thought he looked legitly pro, anyways. Um, what 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 was? It? Oh, Pokédex. That's what I've been trying to go to. I've got. This is what I don't get. It says I've seen 109 Pokémon and I've caught 108, but when I count it it's 113 so don't 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 know what's going on with that but um yeah we're done for the day thank you very much for tuning in that was a long ass vlog but thank you very much for tuning in for the one that she is out What did it end at? So we pretty much got all of it. That's good to know.
Amen.